All right, Gabumon, let's do it. Gabumon, what did you all do? It's morphin' time! Hello, this is Sanat here, and today we're reviewing the Figurize Standard Metal Garurumon. And this is essentially the second of the Figurize Standard kits, uh, this being Metal Garurumon from Digimon Adventure, the uh, final evolution of Gabumon. So, you know, box is pretty standard stuff, it is a model kit. It took me, like, roughly just under an hour to build it. I, I like that the Figurize Standard kits are that simple. Um, but yeah, let's just get to it. I mean, I love the box art on all of these uh, because the Figurize Standard, for those that may not know, you can check out my War Greymon video as well. Uh, these are the anime-style Digimon kits. So they're not the Amplified, but they're more mechanical ones that they've done before. These are anime-styled, and I believe this guy retailed for $28.99 US. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, which isn't too bad for a model kit these days. But yeah, let's, you know, take a look at them. So here is Metal Garurumon. And uh, much like with my... Oh, I didn't put the microphone on. Whoops! So here is Metal Garurumon. Now this guy... Wow. Just two bad takes in a row. Holy cow. Just spectacular today. So here is Metal Garurumon himself, and he is a very nice model kit overall. Uh, he's pretty simple to build. There's a lot of cool joint stuff in him that actually was kind of surprising that I did appreciate, but he is pretty straightforward. He is Metal Garurumon. Uh, much like War Greymon, not that many stickers. I was actually quite surprised. So for example, I thought that maybe on the legs here, we would have stickers to do the striping, but no, that's an individual layered plastic. So you can see the little seam line there. It's two pieces of plastic going over another, and it's all cut out properly. Same with the ones in the feet, and the front, and the back. Which I thought was actually pretty cool and unexpected. Same for the stripes up here, even that little dot. The layered plastic actually makes these kits really awesome. Because straight out of the box, this is how he looks. And the only real stickers is two to make the blade uh, of the tail really shiny. There's the stickers for the zero one one on his cheeks there on both uh, left side and right side, and then the eye stickers. And that's about it that's required, I believe. Yeah, no, that's it. Because uh, there are other stickers for this part on the bottom. For some reason, they give you red stickers, I think, to change the color red for whatever reason. But this is done with plastic color as well. But if you wanted to put stickers over that, it does give you those. But other than that, yeah, this guy is... He's great. I mean, he just looks fantastic. Very animation accurate, which is wonderful to see because I think that was something that Digimon figures don't always go for. We usually get, you know, different types of designs. In terms of articulation, uh, it's a Metal Garurumon. They're usually about the same articulation. So he's got kind of a ball joint at the bottom of the neck, one at the top. The mouth opens and closes like this. Uh, the ears are solid. They don't go anywhere, um, which, you know, that's okay. But I do like also, again, going with that detail, uh, there is actually a tongue sculpted into the Metal Garurumon mouth. Like... That's kind of amazing that that is a separate red plastic piece. It's not the same one from the nose, which you also see little uh, whisker parts are even plastic. It, it's amazing. It, it truly is. Um, but anyways, you got the uh, shoulders here. So these rotate forward and back. They ball joint around. They bend at the middle part here. And they pretty much, they come back and they lock there. So they just bend forward. Once again, great detail. There's that little wire as a separate piece inside. The feet are all ball jointed, which is pretty cool. The hind legs, ball joint, rotate around. You've got this, which moves back and forth, and a nice ball jointed foot. The torso has a little bit of movement left and right. Actually, a lot of bit of movement. That's, that's not too bad, actually, all things considered. And a little bit of up and down. And then the tail can rotate, and then also the blade can be adjusted. The wings, the wings move up. Uh, sometimes they'll just come straight off because they just peg in and clip in here. Uh, so if you do pull up too far, they will remove, which is fine. But these move up and down like this. And then the little side cannon, let's just move this away. Little side cannon things move up and down. Oh yeah, there is one sticker on these, which is on the inside. Uh, I did forget about that one. Um, it's like impossible to see at this angle. Uh, we'll try. Let's see. You can 
almost make it out there. Uh, right there. So like on the inside, there's a sticker, which is barely noticeable. Um, once again, really impressed with the plastic separation for a model kit like this. There also is these cool uh, clear pieces that go on the wings for kind of an effect part for his like main wing attack. And I actually just usually just leave these in. I don't ever see a reason to take them out. They just look really cool, and I like them. I mean, there's nothing to it. And yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much Metal Guru Mon. You can get them posed pretty good. Uh, you can have them kind of in a running pose like that. Um, something something a little fancier, like careening off the, the edge there or something. I'll pose them better. Uh, it's always weird posing like a wolf thing. Uh, also, he does have a peg for a action base, which I'll show off in a bit, so you can get him into some more uh, dramatic poses. But overall, I mean, he's he's great. I don't really know what else to say besides it's a great Metal Guru Ramon. But how does he stack up to the others? All right, so let's do some comparisons. First of all, here is the Figure I Standard Metal Guru Ramon with the SH Figure Arts Metal Guru Ramon. So they're kind of similar in a lot of ways. Uh, the SH Figure Arts one again is more the video game style. It has cool effect parts, too, which I do wish this guy had a little bit more in that department, but these are supposed to be more standard kits. But you can see they're they're similar in proportion. It's just this one's a lot more color accurate to what we'd expect from the anime, and again, I really like that. Though you may like the more you know, digi the digital uh, style for the video games as opposed to the, the more anime style. But you can see they're about the same size. So unlike the War Greymon, who was much bigger than the the SH Figure Arts slash D Arts, this one's kind of a closer in size. There, this one I think is it's actually a little bigger than the anime one, um, but that's just how it goes sometimes. But uh, pretty cool to, to see them side by side. Of course, we also have the Digivolving Spirits Metal Guru Ramon. Uh, this one was a nice fancy premium Digivolving Metal Guru Ramon. And while it is supposed to be sort of anime, it, it is very metallic um, versus this guy's very flat. So this one looks more anime style. This one's much bigger uh, just because the Digivolving Spirits figures were huge. Uh, but you can kind of see that, you know, there's, there's a lot of that great design element. And I think that in general, uh, when you look at, you know, pretty much stock anime design, you look at the Digivolving figure, this one had to take a lot of liberties to get itself to be Gabumon because you have especially with the cannons, because those are definitely looking like they're just feet uh, with spiky missiles on them. So, you know, it's just, they're not, it's not as clean. I think the War Greymon is one of the best Digivolving designs, and that's still a thing. Whereas Metal Guru Mon has always looked, especially in the, the torso, like you can just see how chunky he looks, where he's more streamlined here. And I always think it's kind of interesting to compare and contrast just different interpretations of the same design. And then just for fun, here's my original Digivolving Metal Guru Ramon, who is a poor boy missing two legs. Uh, look, I've had him since childhood. Not everything survived childhood. Uh, but, you know, you can kind of see this guy, I always thought had like the doofiest face. Uh, you know, this is like the very sleek, streamlined anime design. This is just like kind of a goofy Saturday morning cartoon look. But I will give them credit because they actually sculpted in the Zero One uh, as opposed to this, which was a sticker. I think it's, yeah, it's just a paint app on the SH figure art, like the Zero One there. And then it's a paint app, I believe, as well on the Digivolving Spirits. Um, and I think it's also why I love the Z Digivolving Spirits, because even though... Sorry, we're going to move you out of your own review for a moment. Even though the Digivolving Spirits isn't, like, super accurate, it's just, like, a way better upgrade from the old, the old, old uh, Metal Guru Ramon. It's just, it's just so much better. This guy's got, like, a Scooby-Doo vibe going on, but this guy's much, much more in line with uh, what you'd expect. But anyways, uh, those aside, I mean, this is... It's a pretty nice uh, Metal Guru Mon. And then also here is the Shoto Metal Guru Mon, which was a candy toy release for Digimon Adventure 2020. That was anime styled as well. So you can see this is uh, very similar in a lot of ways. I think the coloring is a little darker on this one. Um, but I definitely think the model kit overall is probably my favorite anime styled Metal Guru Mon. So it accomplished its job right there. So here is Metal Guru Mon with War Greymon. They look great. If you're looking for some, you know, sort of really nicely anime style Digimon figures that aren't going to break the bank, because again, they're in that twenty-five to thirty dollar range, depending on where you look. These you really can't go wrong with these. They're well articulated. They're well detailed. They don't require a lot of work. Um, I mentioned in my War Greymon video about the forearm fix to get his arms to look better, but you don't have to do anything to Metal Guru Mon, which kind of makes him superior in a lot of ways. 
But I really like how they, they both use minimal stickers and most of everything done in plastic. And that makes them some of the best kits that I've built because it's very easy to just straight build them and they look good. You don't have to do a lot of extra work, which is actually kind of nice and relaxing for even an experienced builder like me. Because, I, I, you know, I made Metal Guru Mon in an hour and here he is getting reviewed. So I haven't gotten Magnum on yet. I uh, have him on pre-order. I'm waiting for the American release to come out. Uh, the views on War Greymon and the, the likes and the interactions was pretty good for me enough to do a video on Metal Guru Mon, but uh, at the moment I don't want to import these because uh, I need to save money where I can, uh, especially with running a toy YouTube channel full time. So if Metal Guru Mon ticks up in views and Magnum Mon ticks up, uh, we might eventually start importing these and I'll try to get them out a lot quicker. Um, but if you're enjoying these, let me know, hit the like button, um, share the videos. It helps the channel, and it also helps me kind of determine, you know, you know, if, if these Digimon videos really pop off, then I'll, I'll probably get these model kits right when they come out and import them as opposed to waiting for the American release, which is generally cheaper. I'll spend the extra money if it's something that a lot of my audience really wants to see. So, you know, whatever you can to help the channel in that regard, I appreciate it. But, um, yeah, I mean, these are two really solid model kits. So, overall, I highly recommend the Metal Guru Mon model kit. If you're looking for a Metal Guru Mon, I literally don't think there's a better option right now. At the price, and the size, and the scaling, and the detail, it's excellent. There really is nothing more to say. So on that note, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for future Digimon videos. If you haven't checked out some recent ones, such as my Vital Bracelet video I did recently, and the Metal Guru Mon kit, please take a look. I want to do more Digimon videos. They just don't hit as hard as some of my others, so they end up getting pushed back into the list. So uh, if you want to see more of them, give, the, give those videos some love, and maybe we'll make something of it. Um, but on that note, also be sure to check out Hero Club at hero-club.com for Digimon news and more, and my awesome graphic designer on Twitter at DarkClaw643. And until next time, this is Hanout saying goodbye.